guys it's me Elise and I probably have a lot of you guys fooled or maybe not um, but this is actually going to be a wig review and I've had my braids in my head for about a month now and um, they're getting old and dry and I find that headband wigs are super convenient so therefore you can oil your scalp and take care of your hair up underneath your wig and you can snatch it off at the end of the night that's why I really like headband wigs because you know with the lace wigs you know they're gonna be glued down and there for a couple weeks or so so this is super convenient this wig that I have it comes from a company called we queen if you guys check the info section below I will have all the details located there and also if you use promotional code elise 18 you can save 18% off of your purchase and if you decide to buy two headman wigs use discount code elise 25 to save 25% off of your purchase now this is only a limited time sale so you guys got to be quick I have all the details located below this is one of their grab-and-go headband wigs and it's a hundred percent virgin human hair so you can flat iron it and color it bleach it if you choose to you do have those adjustable velcro straps so it's big head and small head friendly so also this wig is kinky curly and i have my wig in a 16 inch so right now as usual i'm just going in and co-washing the hair i'm going in also with my denim brush to kind of redefine those curls because i want to make sure that the curls were popping and looking juicy so i'm going to go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys once i'm done Hey guys, it's me. <laughs> but yes, it's been about a day or two later, I think. And the wig is completely dry. You guys, look at it. It's so pretty, so shiny and curly and juicy and popping. Just what I wanted. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on my stocking cap and get the wig on. Now this wig requires absolutely no work. It's super quick, super easy, beginner friendly. If you guys find that you are struggling with wigs or this might be your first wig, you don't know what you're doing, definitely invest in a headband wig. You'll thank me later. <laughs> but right now I'm gonna go in with my white tooth comb and pick out my hair a little bit. I just kind of like the effect of the hair not being super perfect, but adding a little bit of frizz, allowing the hair to grow a little bit. This is a really good option for those of you guys who don't like flat hair, but there's no secret. Just go ahead and use your comb, pick it out some. And my wig came with about five or six headbands. So I'm gonna, you know, try a couple of them. I'm not gonna use all of them because I like the hairstyle as is. And usually when I have a headband wig, I like to go in and do multiple styles. But because of the length of this wig, I just liked it how it was. So I'm not going to do too many styles. I'll give you guys two options and allow you guys to see, you know, a couple of the headbands look like. So here's the first one. This is nice little burgundy red color. Go ahead and get that on. Now, when you guys are using headband wigs that have that black band in the front, be careful because you don't want it to show like that. So definitely take your time and make sure that you're covering up that little band in the front. Um, I find that with these little headbands, you have to really manipulate it some in order to get it to cover up that band, but take your time. You'll get it, I promise you. You know, <laughs> just take your time. Um, but yeah, this is the first look. Now, I'm going in and I'm gonna lay my baby hairs. I was giving the first options for those of you guys who may not like baby hairs. Y'all don't want those curtains on your forehead. So now I wanna lay my, my baby hairs because you know, I got a big forehead. We gotta put something there to cover it up. Um, but yeah, went ahead and laid my baby hairs and now I'm just combing the hair out furthermore to kind of get it to look massive. I want it big hair. Though I felt like I could probably have combed it out a little more to make it look a little bigger. Um, but man, maybe my LCD screen on my camera is deceiving because I thought it was huge. But yeah, now I'm putting on a, the next headband and this is like a little golden yellow color. Once again, you guys take your time when you're applying it to the headband wig because you do want to make sure you're covering up that band. But this is the next look. It's giving me big flowy hair. You know, we're going into the springtime. You know, summer's right around the corner. So yeah. Um, but I'm going to give you guys a really quick tip on how you guys can disguise that band and 
not necessarily have to result in using the headband so yeah I'm just taking a small little piece of the hair on the side and I'm just kind of doing like a chunky twist and then you just kind of bobby pin that across the headband and prior to me doing that I did fold the band in half to kind of you know cut back on that material but yeah so now you have a very natural looking look so for those of you guys who may not want to dry out your edges using a headband so yeah this is a really quick tip and it's helpful so yeah get into it again you guys do check out we queen i'll have all the information provided down below also make sure you guys utilize those promotional codes and i'll talk to you guys soon bye guys